trouble and I sit down and drink a double. I'm thirsty for something lighter that could get me even tighter and tighter till someday I swear I hear angels play. Goodness, is it really real? It would take a child to know the way I feel. credit but it's thanks to you Ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Fair enough. Well, we've got <laughs> Tina Marie, right? Yes. Andrew Gallagher. Andrew Gallagher, mm -hmm. and yep. they are Whiskey Crossing Duo. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're lucky that I got that right because we started yeah, yeah. making fun. And so, last week when I was doing my puppet thing, I don't know, I was having problems getting my tongue to make words. And so tonight, sure enough, I, I was like, Crust, crusty whiskey? No. Oh, we heard it all. <laughs> Believe me. Whiskey yeah, River. Crusty whiskey. <laughs> I like that name. Though. It's a That's great right. name. It it's not great our name, though, but yet. <laughs> and you have, actually, you work as a duo, mm -hmm. and then you have a band. Band, a five oh, piece band, band, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll have to get the band, the whole oh. band on. You will love them. They are very colorful. I'm pretty sure uh, one of our band members has actually been here before. He was in Lockjaw for a long time. He's our lead guitarist. Well, we had Norman oh, Phil up here playing. I love nice. Phil. Nice. And, <laughs> love Phil. And he did that that one song. Uh, uh, I can't think right now. Anyway, he added my my name in it. <laughs> and, uh, about. Because I was on Willie's bus and got him drunk, so he just <laughs> added that story in. Wow. Yeah. I don't think fun. you had to twist Willie's hand too much there, Carl. Well, uh, that one is smoke, and I don't particularly involve myself with that. And he said, uh, I said, I'll have a shot with you just to say the local guy that had a shot with Willie. He says, I got a quart over there, but he didn't drink it. I said, open her up. He said, I got no shot glasses. I said, that's Jersey folks. <laughs> we drink it straight. Mm. Yeah. There was five of us there. And they, We're not fancy. We just go they for it. Got yeah. Drunk. Yeah. Well, don't get, them, don't get them started on the moonshine. Oh, Forget oh, it. My, my daughter makes moonshine. Very nice. nice. Yeah. I would we like to try some. I sponsor the wrestlers too. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, they get it from us. And, <laughs> and actually, throw people out of the since ring you there. know Don, right? <laughs> yes, I know Don. We uh, know not yet. Yeah. Well, I gave Don for Christmas <laughs> a jug of, it was a coffee moonshine. Oh, oh that's oh, good. Oh, slur is working. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was, that was fun. What coffee is this? Moonshine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's on stage with Carl, and he's like, you can see the room must have been spinning up like, or Don. He does it, it so happens. quietly, because, you know, he, he does, the party yes. starts, and you're like, Don, he's like, hey. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, a few hours goes by, and he's like, you're like, Don, where have you been? I thought you were on stage <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's kind so of very right sneaky about, about it. it. Well, we, we come from the same era, me mm -hmm. and him. Oh, all right. Like, he was telling me about having little... Cowboys and Indians, and, my, and I used to have uh, soldiers and stuff and play with them, and we were just, the whole story about it, but a lot of things that we both did, and he was in a little cowboy suit, like eight years old, and I got one where I was, so I put them together. Oh my gosh! Uh, so I said to him, uh, you notice I only wore one glove. I had that long before Michael Jackson. <laughs> you made it cool. Yeah, well, you he got, got it from you. Tonight, so let's not go. <laughs> I, I was doing so you guys stuff. are like us on the radio. This yeah, is great. I'm loving this. <laughs> I walked out of the house. I forgot one sock. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. <laughs> if it was if it was colder out, I think you would have noticed. Luckily, it's not a senior thing, but I forgot one sock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> go ahead, show him, show him. <laughs> you forgot a sock. Yeah, Didn't you notice the shoe was cold? Well, only happened? one foot is warm, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> it's 
So anyway, we're going to have you singing tonight, right? Yes, and yes. Where, you play? where do you guys play? Oh, well, Lord. Anybody can see you. Everywhere. Everywhere. Um, all over the East Coast. It's we go. good to be young. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to burn out quick. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we go all the way up to New Hampshire. And nice. uh, we go, you know, all the way down to Carolina and all the way out to Nashville. <laughs> Shout out to Howie. We love Howie. Um, but yeah, we're, we're every, but like locally, uh, usually every week. The past two weeks, I've been kind and given the guys a little sabbatical because the summer gets crazy with all the festivals right. and, you know, all the, the outside venue stuff. So, but usually um, you can catch us. We're from Sussex County. So oh, we're nice. usually around that area-ish within an hour radius. Oh, but nice. Well, from New Fallon. Oh, there you go. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You are close. Well, we play a lot at the Warwick Winery, uh, the Pioneer in Hewitt. We play there a lot. Um, the Stanhope House. Stanhope House, the Black Bear Tavern. It's the old Sneaky yep. Pete's. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. And now, if anybody wanted to get a hold of you to hire you, oh. it would be? Um, we can go whiskeycrossing.com or okay. whiskeycrossing at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're all over Facebook. We are. Okay. I all tend right. to get a little busy. I want to, you know, you, if, if I stop, people be like, "What happened?" You were. Right. So I just <laughs> pile it on. Right. Yeah, no, that's no. <laughs> Keeping busy is good. It is. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got to think out of the box. That's why we went to Nashville and I got tied up with Howie because he was playing with his truck. He said, once come down playing with back court. Says I'm coming. Yeah. Said, you are? I said, just, yeah. Me and the whole band, we're coming. Wasn't really a plan. We <laughs> well, he didn't. Not did he only get the band, but he got his sister. And <laughs> well, it started and out. Me and, and my wife was going, and then before I know the, the whole, whole band. band's going. Then my sister's going. Then this other oh, that's, older. That's amazing. That's a great time. And Louie and uh, I'll tell you a lot With of Flossie and her husband. Yeah, like yeah the well, real stuff. I yeah. met Howie because I I just I googled Nashville radios because when our album came out last you know August I was like we need to get this stuff on the radio. And I found his contact, and I just I, I messaged him, and he said, "Yeah." I'm like, "Really?" Excellent. And he's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Yes." And that's oh, he's great. Cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Now you, the songs that you're singing tonight, they're you wrote them. I did. Okay. Cool. I Very did. Cool. Yeah. Love it. Um, I I went. We, I survived cancer, um, and he was with me through the whole thing, and then uh, we started the band while I was trying to learn how to sing again because they did surgeries on my neck. And uh, we started as the duo, and uh, we were just like going big. So when it was time, you know, to write an album, everybody's like originals. We're like, oh, okay. I kind of took a lot of our experiences mm -hmm. and um, a lot of my yeah. life experience. Keep and just that's wonderful. So yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And, and, and you find out like what happened with me is I've always done originals in the mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we do. And yeah. now people recognize my voice as like. I told you that would happen, but I mean, I'm not any younger for it, but <laughs> it's amazing how people do it. We was just on WTVQ, I was on there, yeah, yeah. and people called in, hey, how you been? And they just, oh my God, Carl. I said, well, I'm like an old penny, man. I've been around for I've forever. been around. <laughs> yeah. Well, Andrew, he, it's awesome, because like, I had just wrote these songs, and then he, turns them into like magic, you know? <laughs> he's that's so I, good. I, I screw them up at first. And then <laughs> <laughs> but he, he's like an awesome producer and, uh, and uh, we have our studio and I'm always like, listen, all right, I know you're gonna be helping produce these albums, but why don't you keep, you know, the special stuff for me? You know, don't, don't right, hand that right, out. Right, right. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, listen, here's an idea yeah. for you. <laughs> when you do your songs and record them, mm -hmm. make a track with no lead vocal. Oh, yeah. Because eventually down the line, when you get to be an old penny like me, <laughs> you, need you it. can have other people sing your stuff and charge them, oh. and they just sing to the track. It's a good there idea. Go. I'm gonna copyright Andrew as mine. <laughs> <laughs> I own this this producer. <laughs> well, now, how did you meet? Uh, we met at church, actually. Oh, oh yeah. wow! We, okay. we, yeah, when we were wow. kids, uh, we we went to the oh. same church Sunday school. And then life happened. We all went apart, and then uh, finally found our way back there again. Wow, crazy! Wow. Yeah. That is Full crazy. Well, that's what's great about this, and, and you know, there's uh, really I, I don't want to say, you know, everything is not per se by chance. It's mm -hmm. a lot of it is meant to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, that was like I'll tell you a crazy story. Um, when mm -hmm. I started doing my paranormal <laughs> investigating, the girl that I do it with. 
her husband mm -hmm. used to play with Carl oh. in his oh, band. Right. He was the you drummer. Know Ed Cooney? I know that name. Okay. I do know that name. And so when we were doing the paranormal investigating, uh, we were going to do it on our own because mm -hmm. the group that we were with broke up. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, Ed had, I guess, talked to you and said, you know, uh, my wife is doing paranormal investigating. And Carl said, well, you know, if they make a DVD, we'll play it on the show. Well, to make a long story short, um, unfortunately, Terry is no longer with us. Mm -hmm. And she had given me the telephone number for Carl, but honestly, I couldn't, I had no yeah, idea. Yeah, she threw that away like the... I, I, I really had no <laughs> idea where, where it went. So, <laughs> the bottom of the lid. Yeah. No, wait, this, this is really amazing. So I had, I tried, I looked for that phone number, but I couldn't remember his name. I couldn't remember anything, you know, I, I, I knew nothing. I noticed that here somewhere. Yes. Uh, <laughs> This is us, yeah, you I, know I this. I, set, I set myself up for that one. So anyway, what happened was, is my phone started acting up. Now mind you, this is like five years later. Oh, wow. So now my phone is acting up. So everybody tells me, oh, you, you know, you gotta dump stuff because, you know, you, you're filling it up. And I'm like, okay. So one night, 11.45 at night, I'm dumping whatever, I don't know what I'm doing. And I said, you know, let me go in and get rid of phone numbers, like, you know, people that I used to work with that I don't even, you know. So I'm dumping and I come across this number and I'm like, I don't know this number. So I went to hit trash and I dialed it. Hmm? <laughs> it was you got oh trash. my gosh! <laughs> I got trash! You got trash! <laughs> So, sure that's enough, amazing. He answers. Now, mind you, this is at midnight. I, when he picked up, I hung up because I didn't mean to dial it. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'm just not going to pick it up, you know? Yeah. Well, if persistent Tim <laughs> calls the number back, and I'm like, oh damn, I better pick it up because, you know, my husband's sleeping. <laughs> so I'm like, hello? And he's like, hi, uh, did you call me? Yes, I did. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know who you are. And I saw your number in my phone. And I went to hit trash. And it dialed. Well, so then, needless to say, he's like, oh, well, you know, my name is Carl Richards. And yada, yada. And I'm like, that's the guy. And I'm like, no, I didn't even you know his name because I didn't know his name. He goes, yeah, well, I have a... Uh, um, I thought he was talking about a radio show. Of course, it's midnight, so I you know I'm half. Well, show. yeah, but but you were talking about the TV <laughs> show, and, and so I'm half asleep. You know, I'm yeah. like, and so he's like, um, and I, he says, "Well, who are you?" Finally, and I'm like, "Well, uh, I'm Donna Seacamp. Uh, I'm a medium," and uh, and he's like, "Well, why don't you come down to the show?" So I'm like, and that's when the light went. Ah. Wow. Oh my God, this is the number that I've been looking for for five years. So mm. that was meant to happen. I, know, I always you know? tell everybody, the path is there. Don't fight the path. Well, Stay on the right. path. Sometimes the yes. guy who was cold, so he still hangs around from now and then. This is true. He's raising his kids. Oh. So he can't be here every Thursday. Yeah. So I said, Donna, are you doing anything? <laughs> <laughs> and, and it just. And She's he, so funny to be with. You know, so. <laughs> it just kind of fell into place, you know. Most of the time on our radio show, we're bantering. Same and, thing, right? Well, the same yeah. thing on, at our live shows. Everybody's like, oh, you guys are the modern day Johnny and June. And we're like, this isn't an act. We're really arguing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know what was so funny? The first year or two when I was on the show, I would be very polite. Very yeah. Now I'm like, like oh, me. shut up, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never really do that. But I, yeah. you know what? I, I I have to give him 100% credit because <laughs> I mean, show. this this man has been no seriously. This man's been doing this show for 28 years. Oh, wow. Holy God. Right. I know. I just like, why would you say? You know, you you were in diapers reality. doing this show. Well, now you're in diapers now. Isn't that funny how it came around? I my socks. She's funny. That's you funny. forgot his sock. A whole sock. He doesn't. Oh my gosh. Oh well, we don't want to go there. I don't want to know oh, where that sock when is. When I get down and do her show, you can come with me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, you guys great. can be our co-hosts.
Oh my God! Oh, that would be, That'd be fun. fun. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. It's gotta be awesome. fun. Music has to be fun. It is always yeah. fun when you come this by show us. Is yeah, yeah. Made to be fun. <laughs> and, and and since I told you, we play in Manhattan on three channels. Yes. Oh we wow. We play in Brooklyn. We're also in the whole Hudson Valley in Sullivan County. YouTube, Facebook, Poughkeepsie. You're everywhere. Yeah, so, yeah, we're we're getting there. Good. <laughs> I called the one TV station up in Manhattan after I was on there five years. I said, by the way, uh, how's my show doing? My cancer or something? She says they didn't call you, didn't they? I said, no. She hung up. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess they had no problem with us. All right. <laughs> well, there's some fans yes. yes. on here. The one guy's uh, brother lives in, down in Manhattan. Yeah. Mm. And when they party all the, at night, they come in and listen because it's on 2.30 in the morning. Oh, they come on and watch cable. That's oh, wow. Great. And he called us and says, you're on my TV. <laughs> <laughs> so when I first did it, I said, 2.30, are you crazy? The guy says, that's prime time, boy. <laughs> it is. Oh, no, yes. It is. is. Never right? It exhausts yes. me. Yeah. I'm going to be singing you a song about leaving the city. Oh, yeah. see that? Oh. Yeah. Well, well do we want to get them up there? I mean, it yeah. is quarter well, after you're nine. You're talking know. so much. <laughs> Me and her are going to get along great. Right? Yeah, That's awesome. <laughs> All right, oh so we, we want to get you up. We've already did. Huh? You can do four songs. Yeah, that sounds and then, good. And uh, if you can just move some of your stuff, because i got some I'm going to sing later, one song. Just leave All your right. mic, and the rest can just slide. We'll just anywhere. slide it right over. All got right. it. So All right. right. Appreciate right. you coming. And, uh, thank, thank you, you for having us. Are we having us. them back to talk again later or no? Or we'll be well, back I'll another see. time. No, I'm going to bring them back with their whole band. Yeah, the whole yeah. shebang. Right. Yeah. Before, before get ready. Summer, before summer because uh, then people get to see it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You're going to love Excellent. those boys. They're a lot of fun. Right. Well, I, I like what I heard already tonight. So, I mean, just <laughs> adding to that is going to be great. <laughs> Excellent. So, Whiskey Crossing <laughs> Duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You heard a drink, moonshine, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I had coffee. Hey, we got to say hi to Benzie out hi, there Benz. in the Bullville. How'd you do in uh, the uh, casino? I don't know what he did. I think he did pretty good. Did he? Yeah. I think he always does pretty good. I don't know. I, I, I lose. He plays card games and stuff. Does he? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a good gambler. No, well, when you go in them places, they're there to take your money. Not I know, you that you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might let one person have some so that you all talk about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't me. And soon our cartoon show will be done. Excellent. Are you guys ready? I think so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, introduce them there. Okay, so we have Whiskey Crossing Duo. Woo! Thank you very much. I'm Tina, and this is Andrew. It's nice to meet you. I wrote an album about a year ago uh, about some life experiences. And uh, this song was actually written <laughs> as a dare. Uh, well, Andrew said, I want a song called Whiskey in My Coffee. And this is what I came up with. I don't know if he really had that in mind, but <laughs> we kind of like it. You can find these songs, and they're available on iTunes. Another day saving grace Another note on this old guitar Watching the sun rise through the tree Letting the bad times out Loving the good Lord softly I got you by my side And whiskey in my coffee Of the creek, that breath of life is yours. So listen when it speaks. Time is staying still. And if you can't slow down and find your own right here in this old Sussex town. As the world wakes up. You speak to that weeping willow, hear a cricket and cry, and a bullfrog speak a giggle. Letting the bad times out, I'm loving the good Lord softly. I got you by my side, and whiskey in my coffee. Sparkle 
middle of the creek that breath of life is yours so listen when it speaks and time just stays still and if you can slow down find your home right here on this old Sussex town actually a personal song to me um, it's my my side of uh, the woman's eye in a split up it's called the wind took my and drove real fast down that gravel track and stood real still and stayed real hard I went to the bar that night I sit right here and order this beer just put it on my tap the funny thing is after all this stuff I'm not even I just don't know. The beer is cold, the whiskey is hot. I think that I'll just stay from my mind and just move on. Lost it with my heart and the wind that took down that old road. And I just don't know. And I just don't know. And I just don't know. Just don't know. And I just don't know. Just don't know. And I just don't know. I shot a Jose one. I shot a Jim two. Feel that wind blowing in, how about you? I'll bend and break like a weak, weak branch in a hurricane, yeah, yeah. Come on. Lost it long ago. I lost it with my heart and the wind that he took down that old road. And I just don't know. And I just don't know. I just don't know. And I just don't know. And I just don't know. And I just don't know.
now I know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I still got them coming. All right, what's next? Fun ditty. <laughs> so we were actually nominated on the Nashville Universe Awards for Song of the Year and for Duo of the Year. <laughs> Being the founders, we travel a lot. Um, we're looking to bring the band with us because they're fantastic. But this song is called Sapphire Wind. I wrote this song when I was building a girl band. I had this idea in my head that Miranda Lambert had the Pistol Annie's. I wanted a girl band, and I was gonna have the guys back it up. <laughs> I was totally cheating, but <laughs> it didn't work out. She's an actress, and I'm stuck with this song. But it's not too in, doing too bad for itself. The uh, Sapphire Wind remix and the acoustic version is available on iTunes. Sapphire wind held me off the ground. Sapphire wind and that country sound. Those pale blue eyes, they'll guide my way. I'm gonna make the whole world listen to me say. Grab your real jeans, head out the door. Grab your old boots, can't sit down no more. Show the damn world you're ready to stay. Grab your old strings, and it's time to play. Those neon lights, they call my name And overnight, I won't be the same That steel guitar calls out to me Living my life like it's meant to be Grab your ripped jeans, head out the door Grab your old boots, can't sit down no more Show the damn world you're ready to stay Grab your old strings, it's time to play Sapphire wind, hey, yeah. Sapphire wind, hey, yeah. Those pale blue eyes, they'll guide my way. I'm gonna make the whole world listen to me say. Grab your ripped jeans, head out the door. Grab your old boots, can't sit down no more. Show the damn world you're ready to stay. Grab your old strings. It's time to play, yeah, yeah. It's time to play, yeah, yeah. It's time to play. It's a little acoustic version for you guys. <laughs> the uh, on iTunes, the full production is done by Andrew. I'm spoiled. <laughs> He plays every instrument that you could possibly need on anything. So uh, it's really, it's an awesome. So check it out, Sapphire Wind Remix. This last song we're gonna do, we were talking about going into New York City. There was a time a couple years ago where Andrew and I were like, we need to hit the city. We're going, we're going big. We were playing here, we played at Delancey, so in Session 73, we played the Bowery Electric. And we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not for me. Let me tell you why. <laughs> I have a farm, and I live in Sussex County. If you've been there, it's not the city. And I try to pet the pigeons and any other weird animal that's running around in New York City. It doesn't work. I actually made a friend with a pigeon in Nashville, right in front of Crazy Town. He called me out in front of everybody. He said, you know you're in front of Crazy Town petting a pigeon. I was like, well, it's eating cigarettes. I'm trying to save its life. <laughs> anyway. This song I wrote about leaving the city and coming back home where I belong, where it makes sense. Called in the country. 
I'm headed right downtown the New York sound, find my way through the crowd. I'm gonna play real good and give it my all those neon lights. I'm gonna stand up town. Girls country, it's a concrete jungle lit country. No damn real life struggle in the country. I find my way back home. I find my way back home. And take me back to those winding roads. Take me back where things move slow. Watch the shooting star so high. Can see the sky to those city lights. In the country. Cause country, it's the concrete jungle in country. Knows that real life struggle in the country. I'll find my way back home. Yeah, in the country. Ooh, in the country. Yeah, in the country. I'll find my way back home. When you're living good and living free, grab your guitar and take it from me. You sing real loud and work real hard, and I'll promise you, you'll find those stars. Yeah. Cause country, it's a concrete jungle, a country knows that real life struggle in the country. Thank you for having us. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. They're gonna come back with your own with your band. I know. I'm glad. I'm really happy about that. How many people well, got? I'm how many people have in the band? Orders here first, and then they see what we're doing. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. how, how, how many band? How many ba people in the band? Five. Oh, that's a nice unit. <laughs> cool. They play all over these guys. And that's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nice. Real nice. Yes. Well, one more time. Say their name. Don't mess it up this time. I didn't mess it up. Oh. <laughs> Whiskey Crossing Duo. There you go. Right. She's also on Facebook. Please. Right, and you can also <laughs> get a hold of them on uh, whiskeycrossing.com or whiskeycrossing.gmail.com? At gmail.com. Gmail okay. There you go. There we go. All right. Well, we got some guests that? here. And we do. We have more guests. This is one. They We're all over. I, I see those guys all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. We're busy, <laughs> busy. Well, that's good. This we, is Nan. We say Nan. David. That's me. Yes. And is it Gilly? Gilly? Gilly. Willie Gilly. It's Willie, Willie Gilly. 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 I knew I had it. Yeah. She, she's the Gilly. I'm the Willie. Okay. But and now, now she's a she's a willy too, too so a she's a willy gilly willy. Yeah. Willy gilly productions. Willy yeah. gilly, okay. Oh, is that what it? Okay. Yeah. All righty. And it. we actually, unfortunately, we don't have a cameraman to bring this in close for us May. tonight. What happened to Marty? He left us. <laughs> I think he went to town somewhere. Yeah, he, he did go to town. But th this is um, actually a movie that's going to be coming out. When Ac actually, it, it's actually out on uh, Vimeo right now. It's on demand. You can get it on demand on oh, Vimeo. You can? Yeah. Okay. We, so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's really an interesting film, and it's. Um, okay, and the name it, of this is Collar. That's it. And um, for all you all you cop enthusiast. Right, right. So Actually, yeah. police, the police love this movie. It's, it's, it's a story about a cop who shoots a young black kid and, and what happens to his family and his life and his community. And, you know, so it really tells the truth about, you know, what you, what you read in the headlines, what you know. You right. Yeah, you see the headlines, everybody stops with the headlines, never gets the real story. Right, so, right. And how that really kind of destroys everything. It well, kind of, uh, you have to imagine that, 
you know, something like that is going to affect not only the, the family that lost the person, but the, the family, everybody's traumatized. The whole, the whole so community, sure. you know, right. the whole community gets traumatized. Right, exactly. I mean, you know, it's, it's a horrible thing to, you know, lose a loved one, but for, especially, in, you know, you see it on TV all the time, but, right. you know, um, what the policemen are going through and, uh, you know, well, I don't, I don't know about. if there's a win-win uh, situation in any of this, you know, because you've got... Well, the thing is the police really have to be better trained to deal with the issues that are in the street now, you know. Right. And, you know, it's very difficult when you have you automatic know. weapons in the street right. and they don't yeah. know what's, who's carrying what, right. you know. Right. But shooting a kid 20 times because he's got a cell phone in his hand in his grandmother's backyard is probably not the best mm -hmm. idea. Right. No, no, you know, no, so. No. And I know they did that with one guy because he had a comb. He reached right. for a comb. Yeah, right. exactly. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Shot him five times and sitting in his driver's seat. Right. Hey, listen, I hear Ron out there. Hey, Ron, be quiet. <laughs> he's having a blast. Wow. Either that or come but on the, in. <laughs> but the other thing that's great is that Carl has a song, right, That's that right. we're going to be Thanks hearing to tonight. That's, That's right. right. That's He's right. in there. This uh, movie. And it's had, a, it's had a really important part, and it's a really a major twi turn in the, in the movie, in the right, movie. where the, well, where the song is. I really appreciate you that you used my tune there. Well, that was great. It was really perfect. Beautiful. I mean, I was we were looking for something yeah. that would really Hopefully when you do, like, bill. a release someplace in an auditorium or something like that. Well, you know, we, we're doing, we, we, we're going to continue to do special um, screenings and things like that. So we'll definitely, you know, put something together and get everybody together to do uh, to do uh, their thing, you know, get, get out there, get the band out there and do the whole thing. Okay, but you, you know. can get it on demand, so that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, and you can get it. You go to collarthemovie.com. Okay. And you can hey, watch Hey, one of you guys mind going out and telling them to be quiet on the set? I can hear them just sound like they're <laughs> arguing out there. They must be in the white light. Yeah, there. it's a wrestling match going on. <laughs> oh, is that one? No. Get out of cattle prom. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. That's right. But anyway, we want to show you the trailer. From, okay. from college. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is my, daughter, my sister. Love what she's seen. Well, that's great. That's great. You know, uh, you, we know we've gotten tremendous response in the in the uh, all of the polls that we've taken on the film, and a lot of people, you know, thousands of people have seen the film. Right. You know, and you know, 88 percent actually is the statistic. Mm -hmm. uh, really enjoy the film enjoy the and. Film. Uh, wow. Especially like police, like I said. Police, it's more like 99%. It's, it, it almost, it's really. almost exclusive, you know. They, well, not only that, when you start watching, because I've watched the other parts too, not just me. Yeah. And the, you get hooked up in it. Yeah, well, it's a real story. I mean, you know, they're, they're real lives. That's, a, that's the thing about these incidents, you know. They just look like statistics, and they're pictures on a page or something. You know, these are human beings' oh, lives. And, right, right. you know, what, what happens to their lives is what's really important. What, right. And now, this isn't, is this based on a particular true story or it's just I'll tell you I'll tell you a little something I wrote the original script okay. uh, after the um, there was a shooting incident in in New York about 25 years ago okay and I began to take a look at that and I wrote the the, the original script almost 25 years ago wow. and I couldn't get anybody to get near it because they said oh well that never happens I mean you know that was it's such a rare thing who's going to care and then, you know, once we started making the film and all of these things started happening after that, you know, the, right. yeah, the, the, you know, all of these shootings and things like that, uh, it, it began to take on a different perspective. So it is kind of, I mean, it's an amalgamation. The thing that's right. interesting is right. the cops that watch this thing say, where did you get your intel, man? Mm -hmm. And they all think, you know, they, 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 one of, we have a 25-year gold badge on the NYPD, so, and he said he loved it, and he's really critical of police films, okay. and he said, wow. He said because it's authentic, you know. Right, it's right. Now what? Oh, wow. I know you're just one of the main star. You're yeah. Act. What's some of the other stars? Because I've seen some of these other stars in other movies. Well, yeah. Rebecca De Mornay was in Hand right. That Rocks the Cradles. You know, mm -hmm. so she's you know was a big hit. Richard Roundtree. Tom, right. Tom Sizemore yes. was in uh, you know Saving Private Ryan and Heat and you know mm -hmm. Black Hawk Down and a whole bunch of other films right, like that. Right. Yeah. And Richard Roundtree, of course, is the original Shaft. You know. So he, he was like, you know. Yeah, I, I, I recognize them all, but I'm terrible with names, so it doesn't And then matter. you have to remember David <laughs> well, you remember Patrick yours, Wilson. Man. No, I suppose. Right. <laughs> he was the drummer in Eddie and the Cruisers. Uh, oh, oh. You, you were. I was. <laughs> no, somebody told me that before. But. Oh, my God, I 
I it was. I played it. That was me, Kenny oh, Hopkins, the drummer in the band. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, did you play at um, Boodles in Chester? No, that was that was that was actually Beaver Brown Band did. Oh, okay. okay. Those so. were the guys that actually did the play. I mean, we you know I did the on camera stuff, okay. and I and okay. I played the, I actually played okay. the track. You know, because you can't you can fake guitars on on film, but you can't. Oh, <laughs> when so you you got you you, okay. you have to actually be able to play the drums to be able to to, to have. Because I saw them. In, so in, South in South in Side uh, Johnny yeah. worked with him to do the drums. Oh, well. Right, Johnny uh, Johnny Alliance, who was uh, South Side Johnny Asbury Jukes. And how long did you play the drums yeah. before you got into this part of it? He's a I actually, good drummer. That's why he's asking. <laughs> oh, he's a good I, drummer. I actually, oh, my God. He's a great drummer. Yeah. I actually, before I did the movie, I hadn't played. I, it, but I played a little bit in high school with a bunch of guys, you know, just kind of horsing around. Right. We had a band called Stevie and the Wombats. And um, so, and, <laughs> you know. Funny. But the funny thing was that when I was playing drums, and I was in Ho I was out in Hollywood when I first got out there, and uh, Bonnie Bramlett, from, uh, Delaney and Bonnie, remember Delaney? I've heard and Bonnie? of that, yeah. Yeah, big big outfit. And she, <laughs> we were at a, par a party in the Hollywood Hills, and I'm dancing, I'm singing. She stops and she says, "Who are you, man?" I said, <laughs> "You know, I'm just me." And she said, well, "Are you are you in a, are you in a band?" I said, "Yeah, we have a band." She said, "Would you play an instrument?" I said, "Yeah, I play the drums." She said, "No, no, you can't. You got to get from out from behind the drums, man." <laughs> the drums is not where you belong. Right. You need to, oh. you need to get out in front. Oh, so people are always telling drummers that. What a pain in the neck it is when you're. Well, yeah, can you imagine Levon Helm stepping up behind the drum? Yeah, right. That, right, that right. would have been a trip, right? Well, Leon, uh, little Sammy Davis, uh, the blues guy. Yeah. He played with them. He's he's been on the show and he recorded on two of my albums. Oh really? So there's, there's well, that's a whole cool. Click of people who jammed and played together. Well, there's a lot of great musicians up here. Oh, I mean, you know, yes. I'm actually working out with a band now, um, Straight Shot. That's I've a local. That's, that's a local band, yeah. and they're really, they're really, tight, yeah. they're really good musicians, man. I'm really, tight. really well, very as honored as to be as able to play singer, with them. I, that's what I figure is to get great musicians around me as a singer. Yeah, that's what you it want. It's so much easier. Yeah, yeah exactly. I with Don Coriolo, so I'm gonna say that right. Coriolo. Coriolo. His band is like top notch. They can play anything. Yeah. Anything. yeah. It, it makes you feel so relaxed when you see That's them. that you know, that's the thing. These guys play like three hundred songs. They they you know, they play everything. Yeah. yeah. And they play it really well too. Well, see, and that's the thing, you know, when you're a good musician, really, you yeah. can just play about anything. Well, I might be looking for I mean, a drum. you know, you've always got your fortune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Country rock. But hey man. No, you know, so it's, it was so funny because I, I hadn't played for years b before when I took got the role. You know, um, I had done another film for Marty Davidson, who was the director in that mm -hmm. film, and he said, "You play the drums, right?" I said, "Yeah." He says, "We, we you want to come and do this movie?" I said, "Oh yeah, okay." But I started playing in Johnny Lyons Country. He said, "When was the last time you played the drums, man?" <laughs> he said, "Oh, it's been a while." He said, three weeks." He had me in a, he had me in a in, in a in, in a, a hotel room in. Uh, in uh, where's it race? Freehold, New Jersey. Oh no! Right, we were in the Rickshaw Motel, the oh, entire company God. in Freehold, New Jersey, and uh, we—I was there for three weeks. I, I must have played ten hours a day for wow. to get my chops we, back. The boss just came out. She wants she to show that. Oh, so she's she going to show that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So, go ahead, Lo. We'll cut it short. <laughs> you probably already cut it too long. Now we're okay. In every small town in America, there are some very big secrets. Just our 25th anniversary. She's more like a lifetime. Oh, come on, get out of here. <laughs> Listen, you're just pissed because it keeps turning our damn collars around. Is there something wrong with Ellsworth? No, we're the good guys. This is not the way to take care of this. Oh, yeah? And what is? You got kids here selling their bodies for goodies. You know what they say. Let's make the best love us, Papa. Oh, well, I wouldn't think you had to teach me that. <laughs> Bonnie, don't you come on. Hang on here, sweetheart. This is Mariah. This is Mariah. All, all musicians of gold, silver, and sheep. Don't you even think about it. Kyle's right. You ain't my partner. I want to see William stand before a jury of his fear. You're running for mayor, right? Why did I ever agree to this? 
Vote, vote, baby, vote. The time is limited, my brother. All those empty promises, all those campaign promises, all become the same old, same old. Open up one of these. Oh, God. Is that you? And so I got to get back inside. You do want to help, right? I know what you've been doing. Oh. Get up. I'm going in. You're not going anywhere. that room go they gonna let it rope go and the brain won't wash away no no and time will never change my blue destiny lord help me please don't leave me here all right, Ooh, all right. <laughs> thank you thank, thank you very much see it. so you can see the movie on um you can catch it at PowerTheMovie.com. You can get it right there. You can go straight from that link. Yeah, right. it's also okay. on, at Vimeo.com on demand slash collar. So. Right. Okay. Excellent. So, but we had this gentleman over here make an amazing song, and um, we were able to. We really needed it in the production. So we'd like Thank to you. show you that piece when we. Um, where Carl is band playing. Yeah, it was right in that one section there where I'm at the church where my life is about to turn, turn around. Mm. That was actually me with all that blood on my face. So Lois, you want to roll that? <laughs> you got that? <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Somebody, please. Please. Somebody. Help me! Help me! <laughs> hey, son. You'll be okay. Oh, God. Is that you? Let me help you. Well, <laughs> it's me, but name's Dave. Uh, I've seen that look before. You're ready. Why don't you come with me? I think we've got what you're looking for. You do? When is that march? You want to move? You're going to freak me? Oh, we're the good guys. No, I can't. Oh, come on. I'm really so punk. He's really connected. Let us protect you. You have the most good powers out of anyone in the entire history of the South. You see me? Don't even worry about it, all right? I've got you covered, man. Right? You got the sun control. There it is. Yes, we yes. saw the light. Yes. Best song. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And that was a great blend. You're right. Yeah. yeah. That particular yes. song, before you pick, we used to, we play this every gig. And we were at the casino in Monticello. Oh, yeah. And I said, we're going to do a gospel song. <laughs> and the, the guy that run it goes, gospel song? This is a <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, I'm doing do you it. know where you are, man? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loved it, right? Yeah, right. Song. Everyone course, loves that song. We do it live. And, uh, <laughs> we had people up on the table. Oh, so boy, I'm sure it, dancing and <laughs> singing her hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, this Lordy, one's Lordy. That's a beautiful song, really. Yeah, it is. And it's we great. made it over to the picnic when you guys came. That's yeah. right. And, and That's right. Well, I got up there with you. Didn't you remember? Yeah, I got up yeah. there and said it was yodeling with you there. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun yeah. music. That is a, that is it. You know, but I mean, it it's the greatest interactive form that there is. Definitely, music. It's just mm -hmm. live music, especially, is just the is just the great it is. thing. It really is. You know, I have another song with somebody else that's movie too. If they ever get it done, it's uh, One Red Rose about Elvis. Oh, oh yeah, right. So hopefully that goes in. Well, we're working on another one now. I got one called Shadow Serenade that we're, we're getting in, in shape to start shooting now. Uh, we'll be shooting in the summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's got a lot of music in it, too. But it's a yeah. coming-of-age film about a kid who is a high school superstar football player. Yeah. And he yeah. injures his best friend and walks away from the game. And, Ed Asner know. is in it. 
Ed Asner, right? already signed oh, people? Yeah, oh, yeah, we're going after uh, Mark oh, Ruffalo yeah. and a couple of, couple of other people. But uh, Ed's already on board. He plays the judge boy. He's got some funny stuff, too. He's, wow. Ed's, I love Ed. Ed and I did a TV series together, uh -huh. The Bronx Zoo, about a, an inner city high school. Okay. And uh, I just loved working with him. He's just such a curmudgeon, this guy. He's great. Wow. Of course, you know, you need another song. Hey, <laughs> you know what? You got it. There you That's definitely. why I was dropping the hint there, buddy. I'm well, glad, glad you picked up on songs recorded, so it wow. be something that fits. Well, that's just enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, another thing is that I've, I've been asked to work on a, 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 a music festival for next year. I mean, it, it was actually uh, Two Left Feet was the name of the festival. And it was a blues festival that's kind of morphed into a, an overall music festival. They're taking this year off, and they're kind of retooling everything for next year. And I think we're doing it in Bridgeport, Connecticut. But there's oh, wow. definitely looking definitely for, want you, to you come know, on. definitely looking oh, for people to, 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 you know, to fill the bill. So they have a budget. <laughs> no, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, they do actually they have a budget. It's just, I don't like to talk that way, but <laughs> no, no. Man, listen, I <laughs> listen. I really, band, I really enough. appreciate that. That's absolutely right. You're a professional. You should be playing for you know the the dough, it's and you should be working for the. You know, I mean, you love what you do, but everybody thinks, oh, you love it so much, you'll do it for these free. These guys here have a great band, too. Maybe you'll find room for these guys, too. Yeah. Okay, good. Definitely. I take, I take everybody with me. When I go, Definitely. That's it. Perfect. I, I we also have a telethon that we're going to be doing. Subject, but I wanted to get back to this other movie that you're doing. Now, did you write this one? I wrote, this yeah, I wrote it, and um, it, it's a really, it's a, it's a very sweet, it's kind of a cross between, well, actually, the heroine, it's a dog. That's why that's Shadow, Shadow Serenade. Yeah. And it's kind of a cross between uh, Friday Night Lights, The Outsiders, and Benji. Wow. And it's a real family oriented thing. It's a, and it's, you know, it's a coming of age film, and, but it deals with a lot, of, a lot of issues. You can actually go on uh, shadowserenade.com. Yeah, you can. And you can wow. see some of the clips. Some already, of the stuff that we're already working some on. Some of the football wow. stuff. I actually play a priest, an Irish priest in it. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, I do. Father, Mul <laughs> Father Mike Mulcahy. Oh, no, well, okay. listen, we want to get you to sing. We want to get five yes, minutes. Okay, yeah. uh-oh, uh-oh. So, yeah. Go on over there. All right. Grab that mic. <laughs> Boy, I hope we'll let you take the show out while we take a break. <laughs> well, anything with with animals I love, so yeah. I'm sure I'll love it. You, you know. sing how much this doggy in the window. That's all right. The kids. I, yeah. Let's see what we can get out here. What's the playback sound like? I don't know. Test, test, test. Am I on? Yeah, I guess I am. You're, you're on. You need it louder, just tell her. Hey. You got this music happening here? Mm. Who's that woman behind the camera? Who's the masked <laughs> woman behind the camera? We need a camera I know that woman. woman. So th this is one of my favorite songs that I'm going to sing. Yeah, crank that baby right up. Don't be afraid of the volume on that thing. There you go. Yeah.
Well, there's a man down there, yeah. might be your man, I don't know who. I ran out of room here. <laughs>